Singapore, the World Watch transfixed as the first meeting between a sitting U.S. president and a North Korean head of state took place in Singapore on Tuesday, June 12, as crowds lined the streets of Singapore to see Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un head off for their meeting in the morning. Millions more tuned in to watch the historic moment unfold live. The event was closely followed in the South Korean capital Seoul, where thousands gathered at railway stations and across various locations for public screenings of the landmark summit. People watch live footage of the summit between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in Singapore at a railway station in Seoul on June 12, 2018. Photo, AFP slash Young Yongzhu, looking at the two leaders shaking hands, I thought, I am living in a historical moment, said Young Ian, a university student. Many others watched live footage of the summit on their phones. A great shift in world history is in the making, one internet user said in a comment response to a news story. South Korean visitors looking at North Korean territory from Odusan Unification Observatory in the border city of Paju said they hoped to live happy with North Korean people through a successful summit. Pedestrians look at a screen displaying live news of meeting between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and US President Donald Trump. Photo, AFP slash Martin Bureau, spontaneous applause broke out the moment Kim and Trump stepped out and greeted one another with a cordial handshake. Giant screens at prominent buildings around Seoul also broadcast the meeting, with many stopping to soak in the momentous nature of the event. A man watches television screens showing the summit between US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, at an electronics shopping center in Seoul. Photo, AFP slash Yonhap, South Korea's Yonhap news agency showed President Moon Jae-in smiling at the moment Trump and Kim shook hands. The North Korea-US summit has now started, Yonhap quoted Moon as saying during a cabinet meeting. I guess the attention of all our people must currently be directed towards Singapore. He added, I spent a sleepless night. I, along with all our people, sincerely hope that it will be a successful summit that will open a new era of complete denuclearization, peace and a new relationship between South Korea, North Korea and the United States. South Korean President Moon Jae-in, R, and Prime Minister Lee nak L, watch a television screen showing the summit between US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Photo, AFP via Yonhap, but there were also protests in Seoul, with anti-war activists rallying outside the U.S. Embassy to call for peace treaty and an end to nearly 70 years of hostilities. The 1950-53 Korean War was concluded only with a truce, not a peace treaty. South Korean activists march with banners reading Make a Peace Treaty immediately. During a rally demanding a peace treaty between North Korea and the U.S. near the U.S. Embassy in Seoul on June 12, 2018. Photo, Yung Leon Je slash A.F.P, in Los Angeles Koreatown, many gathered for communal screenings of the summit and cheered and clapped when images of the handshake theme from Singapore. Koreatown has one of the largest concentrations of Koreans in the U.S., and many residents there expressed their hope for a positive outcome in the lead-up to the Singapore summit. People watch on a screen as North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un meets with U.S. President Donald Trump in Singapore, during a U.S.-North Korea summit watch party in Koreatown, Los Angeles, on June 11, 2018. Photo, AFP slash Robin Beck, people watch coverage of Donald Trump's meeting with North Korean leader in Los Angeles. AP Photo slash Ye Si Hong, people gathered for a U.S.-North Korea summit watch party in Koreatown, Los Angeles, clap as North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un shakes hands with U.S. President Donald Trump at the start of their historic summit in Singapore, on June 11, 2018. Photo, AFP slash Robin Beck, 
on the China-North Korean border, group of Chinese Koreans in Dandong City started singing and waving when they spotted a boat carrying North Koreans down the Yellow River. When I asked what they hope comes out of the hashtag Trump Kim Summit in Singapore, their answer was simple, peace. Pick.twitter.com slash T2OS is Fred, Olivia Siong, at Olivia Shinji Sina, June 12, 2018 Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi told reporters in Beijing that the fact the two leaders can sit together and have equal talks has important and positive meaning, and is creating a new history. On the U.S. East Coast, crowds also took part in mass viewings of the event, with many gathered at New York's Times Square to watch the summit on TV screens. People in Times Square walked past TV screens showing the meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Photo, AFP, in Tokyo, people rushed to get special editions of newspapers covering the summit as the Japanese closely watched the movements of Kim, who in the past has sent rockets flying over Japan. A staff of a Japanese newspaper Yomiuri distributes an extra edition. Of the newspaper reporting about the summit at Shimbashi Station in Tokyo. AP photo slash Koji Sasahara, markets in Japan kept a close eye on proceedings in Singapore. Japan's Nikkei share average rose on Tuesday morning, buoyed by optimism the summit could pave the way for denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The Nikkei rose 0.5% at 22,906.14 in mid-morning trade, after dipping in negative territory briefly. The Nikkei was just a hair under its four-month high. Employees of a foreign exchange trading company in Tokyo look at the screens displaying live news of meeting between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump in Singapore, next to screen displaying the Japanese yen's exchange rate against the U.S. dollar on June 12, 2018. Photo, AFP slash Kazuhiro Nogi, in Singapore, the summit was met with a warm reception by the many expatriate South Koreans that live in the country. At the Korean Association, dozens clapped, sang and cheered when Trump and Kim shook hands. We live on YouTube with our comprehensive coverage on the Trump-Kim summit. Watch here. You can also catch the live stream and read updates at www.channelnewsasia.com slash Trump-Kim summit.